Be close to some gameplay, and here it is. Young Kim's going to be joining us for this game. We're going to be talking through a little bit about what we see here, and it's the game we've been waiting for all day it is Skimbo and Drini. We thought they might meet here in the quarterfinals, and here it is. Skimbo is the Chiefs. Drini is the Pats. And Skimbo will start with it first. Hands it off to Williams, and Williams will get a few yards here. What can you tell us about Damian Williams? I know they don't have Kareem Hunt anymore, but it seems like everybody's cool with just slotting Williams in there. He's really solid. Uh, he's he's fast. I think he's 91 speed, and he can also spin, which is the most deadly move in the game. So Kareem Hunt actually couldn't spin, so it wasn't a big loss losing him. You lose a little bit in the red zone, but he's just a very solid player. And there goes Tyree Hill again, Adam. Yeah, once again, you know, one of the most uncoverable receivers in the game. And, of course, I, again, I, I made this point earlier. Like, any time you tackle him on the field, it feels like a win. Adam Ring from the NFL Network, the champ. Young Kib is here. And Scott Cole bringing you this game between Skimbo and Drini, trying to move on to the semifinals Ooh. and nearly. Right there, that was a little bit of match coverage. Uh, it defends corner routes really well, and it defends these vertical type routes. So all Journey had to do was take away that crosser coming back over the middle. Second and 10 at the 48 near midfield for Skimbo. Maybe the first time he's gonna be tested might be in this there game. Go. He's gonna Tyree. go up there top, is. touchdown Tyreek Hill. And that's why I use the Chiefs, and that's why a lot <laughs> of these people use the Chiefs. 99 speed, and he's basically unguardable. And pretty much if you get caught in a cover two and that safety's got to slide over, it's GG. Yeah, yeah basically. Basically, there's not a single player in regs that can keep up with him. So 7 nothing, a four-play, 72-yard drive, taking up just 52 seconds. And the two-time belt winner, Skimbo, is up on the board first by seven. But Drini certainly has the talent to be able to answer right here. And Cornell Patterson will spin out to the 24-yard line. And this, this is a very important drive right here. You're down 7-0. You get ball at half, but if you come out here and get stopped and get no points, you're in a real bad spot. So Drini's looking to get at least three here. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we saw, though. Everybody talks about Drini's defense, but in the last match, he was really challenged and had to show a little bit of his offensive chops. So this is an opportunity for him to once again flex those muscles. Yeah, definitely. I feel like we'll see a halfback base here. Brady in the gun. You're talking about James Alabama, White. We've seen him on the base. We've also seen him really be dominant in the in the delay draw game as well. And he gets to the edge a little bit more. First down there for James White. And there's that base. He's going to try to attack the side that doesn't have that nickel corner with that base. So you should see that a lot from Journey this game. And that mirrors a lot of what Bill Belichick likes to do with James White and why he's been effective on Sundays. Brady now on first and 10, slings it out to Gronk, and Gronk can't hang on. That's unusual. Usually he catches everything. And so, I mean, we get so accustomed to him, and, and we get spoiled by how, how great he's been over the course of his career, even though he's been battling injuries over the last couple of seasons. Yeah, I've seen some Gronk make some crazy catches this weekend. I know you use Kansas City, Kev, but why not Tom Brady in the Pats? Too slow? Uh, that has part of the that's part of the reason, but also just Tyreek Hill. He's just such a threat on regular teams. He uh, he's basically a touchdown if if someone's not on him. Third and six. Drini overthrows oh. and it will be picked off by Eric Berry and Skimmo's going to get the ball at the 40-yard line. Right there, I think he used the high pass feature. It was open and he didn't need to high pass it, so he high passed it. He got a little overthrow and Skimmo got that tip pick with Eric Berry. And you've had some battles with Drini, some that uh, didn't go your way, mm -hmm. uh, but you did get a little bit of revenge last year. Uh, talk us through, first of all, that one game where it just the wheels came off the wagon in the second half. Sometimes Madden be like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it sometimes happens like that. It was a close game going in out of half. Yeah, and six to three. And I threw a tipped interception, and then he scored right away. And then I think I threw another interception, and then he scored again. So I was in a really bad spot within like a minute. So it, it, that can happen in Madden where it just the floodgates can open. And I bring that up because after this interception, Drini's going to try to hold here oh. and just overthrows the outstretched arms of Conley. And that momentum's real when you're in these matches, right? I mean, it can really 
when it's going your way, I mean, you almost feel like you can make every throw. And when it's not going your way, you, you sort of start to second, second guess what you normally do. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of players that don't like playing behind. So you can, if stuff starts not going your way and stuff and they get behind, you can see, you can see what happens. Their gameplay changes significantly. And Adam, there's Tyreek Hill again. And there's just no one on the field that can stay with number two. Yeah, and you can see, you know, if you're content to use him coming across like that again, we all talk about how great he is at taking the top off of a defense and making people respect him deep, but he does stuff like that too. And even on those passes, those are capable of going all the way to the house. So first and 10 now at the 44, Skimbo already up seven. The winner of this one will move into the semifinals, the final four here in Vegas. And Mahomes will try to slide down, takes a hit there, it's a gain of four. And this is Drini's patented dollar defense. He loves this defense. He's ran it ever since I've known him. And then you have Skimbo's patented gun bunch. He's been running this for how many years now? Ever since they put the playbook in the game. That's how long yeah. Skimbo's been running. <laughs> Basically, the father of the gun bunch. And Hill on the drag, and that's where he'll go. A little spin move. So tell, talk to us a little bit about your, your face and Drini, you're facing that dollar defense. What's Skimbo looking? Uh, where's the tender spaces in that dollar formation? So the run's tender, so you're going to see Skimbo attack with base a little bit. But you also have a, you have a tender spot up the seam a lot. Since Drini's running a lot of cover two type defenses, that, Con, that Conley streak up the middle or the Tyreek fade should be open. That's two spaces that you don't want to give up, especially with the, when Tyreek Hill starts running free. This is a big third and right, one what? at the 35 on the, not the edge of field goal range, but he's, he's, He's on the back with it. end, back He's end of the field goal it. range. We've seen a 59 yarder from the Chiefs earlier this week. I think that was maybe Evil O who kicked a long one down there in some of the earlier rounds. Third and one. Mahomes, quick throw. Oh. A little wheel there from Hill. Why is that wheel route so effective? It's just a little bit of delay. Yeah, he, he, uh, he motions it out and he snaps it when he's motioning. So he gets a little bit of delay and he gets underneath those deep blues that go back. And so he can just quick throw that. There's no flat zone over there. That's the thing, Adam, that's just boggled me. And he beats you over the top. He can beat you on a drag. Well, that's the thing, too, is you, he got, is you got to give him his space. You know, you can't be crowding up on him a lot. And even though it's third and one, you still have to respect his speed. The thing about that Skimbo does uh, different than a lot of other players, he's going to move Tyreek Hill a lot. You see him right now. He's moving him around. He, he definitely knows that he's the best player on his offense, so he's going to move him around a lot and try and get him the ball as many times as he can. So Master Gamer and Little Man, they are in the semifinals. We're trying to figure out who is going to be next. we got Skimbo and Drini right now, Hollywood and Blocky. And it's a 7 nothing ball game right now. Skimbo with the lead. He's looking for more. There were 40 seconds left in the first. Adam Rank, Young Kib is in the booth with us. And I'm Sky Cole, and there is a timeout by Drini. And uh, clearly didn't like what he was seeing. No. And this is a very important defensive possession for Drini. If he can hold a three, he still can, uh, he still can, he's still going to be in this game because all he needs is a three, and then he gets ball at half. So he can easily stay in this game, but he's got to hold the three right here. Something Drini didn't like in the settings. Well, it was what? Kiv was talking about where he's starting to put Tyreek Hill in motion and Conley's right there in the in the middle, probably going to be working down the seam, I would I would imagine. Yeah. So second and ten, there's Hill in motion again. This time he's going to drag him. That's good. And Mahomes can't get away. And I guess when you're playing the Chiefs, uh, having a spy on the field is almost a must. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got like 82 speed, I think. He's one of the fastest regular team quarterbacks, and that's the difference between Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes <laughs> right there. You have that threat. I think Tom Brady's about a 28 speed. Yeah, <laughs> if that. <laughs> Third and 11. Mahomes looking downfield, oh, throwing to Travis Kelsey. There. Touchdown, Skimbo. And that's why he's the second best tight end in the league. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Kelsey's the best. <laughs> I think the tight end on the other team would have something to say about that. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, somehow Drini warping through the line, able to get his guy back here for this extra point. Won't be a perfect kick, but it will be down Main Street, and it's going to be 14 to nothing. What's your mindset now if you're Drini trailing by two touchdowns? 
It's tough. He's still got to play his game, but right here, a lot of Madden players, they're going to play sped up. They're going to try to score really quickly because you're down 14-0. But Drini still gets ball at half, so what he wants to do right here, he wants to get seven, and then he needs to stop, stop Skimbo. Patterson on the return, won't get much. We've seen a few kick returns uh, this weekend, Adam, but nothing, nothing out of control maybe that we've seen in past Maddens. No, not at all. And that's, you know, I just think it's starting to, you know, once again, mirror the game. The NFL is trying to outlaw the kickoff return, but I think as the average fans, we love those exciting plays, though, and we don't see enough of them. So at the end of one, it is Skimbo 14, Drini 0. It's a $5,000 game of Madden. Whole lot of MCS points on the line as was our opening major of the season as we make our way to the club championship in January. And that's why I think there's a little more riding on this game for Skimbo because with that loss in New England, he knows he's not going to be there in January. Mm -hmm. So not only for, for the bank account do you need to play a little bit better, but also for those uh, for your MCS uh, uh, bank account, so to speak, you need those points all leading toward the Man Bowl. Yeah, definitely. The club championship's the biggest tournament, so him getting knocked out of that, he loses a, a chance on a lot of money, so he wants to do well in these other tournaments. Third and seven. And Trini can't get rid of it. Here comes fourth down. Skimbo's playing really good defense right now. He knows this formation very well, it seems like. He plays Dubby all the time, and Dubby, Dubby was the first one I've seen running this, so I feel like Skimbo is playing really good defense right now. He's been playing good defense really the entire tournament. Fourth and 13 for Drini. Boy, this thing feels like it's starting to get away from him. If he can't convert here, picks up the blitz. Got to get rid of it. And that's going to be oh. a huge overthrow and a turnover on downs. And that was kind of a weird setup from Drini. Uh, Skimbo had two flat zone defenders, and he put in an out route. And you're not going to be able to throw that versus flat zone. So all he had to throw was the post, but Skimbo user covered it. So first and 10 now for Skimbo. You know, Adam and I, we called this game yesterday where Skimbo just kept getting such great field position. Yeah. Uh, and boy, you, you can't just keep giving a player like that just so many shots at a short field. Yeah, it feels like that's one of the more underrated parts of his game. I mean, obviously, everybody loves to talk about how he is offensively, but we've seen the defense really step up for him in this tournament. And that's the thing when you're playing someone that's really good on offense, you feel like you got to score almost every possession. And when, then when you get on these long, long down and distance, you're trying, to, you're trying to get him and you get on a fourth and 15 and you're going for it when you knew, normally wouldn't go for it. So that's why Skimbo's getting these really good field positions right now. Skimbo's put up 135 yards. Drini only has 12 through the first quarter and a half. And Williams trying to get to the oh. edge. Nice spin move. Going to be just shy of the marker. I think it's going to be third and three at the 12-yard line. Yeah, field goal makes it three scores. That's huge. Yeah, I think Skimbo's uh, he's going to settle for three right here. I feel like he's going to play it pretty conservative. He's fine going up 17-0. He's fine going up three possessions. So I feel like we might see a run right here. Yeah, especially with the way he's been playing defense. He doesn't really need to try to do anything too, too fancy or anything like that. And it feels like, obviously, he's in control of the game and still is going to put Drini in a position to where, again, you were talking about a moment ago, that he feels like he has to score and score quickly. Mahomes will hand it off, and there is the delay to Williams, and it's time to get your boot out. He's going to try to make it a 17-point lead. Scott Cole, along with Adam Rank from the NFL Network, also here with the Madden 18 champ, Young Kiv. And normally we would talk about some cool stuff here, but as with all the block kicks we've seen this week, uh, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to save judgment here to call him this thing good, even though it's going to be a 30-yard field goal. Yeah. Field goal this weekend hasn't been guaranteed. So if Skimba wants to not guarantee that he doesn't get it blocked, he's got to kick it perfect. Otherwise, Drini has a chance to come around the edge and block it. So we should see Drini try and block this kick. You know, right of course, here. we're playing on the pre patch. Have you, have you had a chance to play on the current patch? I know you've been here in Vegas where I think there's going to be a lot less block kicks. Of course, if you kick it perfectly, uh, that'll, that'll save you from from the sweat. It's a little bit easier to do on a chip shot than it is from a deep one. And it's up and it's good. And we got a 17 to nothing ball game. But you, you get a minute, make, I, I don't feel so good when I see that guy breaking around the edge. And I'm sure when you're the one kicking it, 
uh, it, it, it really makes you clench up a little bit. Oh, yeah. That, that, I've lost two tournaments now where was, I've gotten my kick blocked. I was so. going to say, Scott, like, this is too soon. <laughs> yeah. like, like, why are we talking it, it about was, this? It, I got one blocked in El Paso last year. So when I saw Jay Bird come around the edge, I'm like, oh, this is oh, Jay, no. deja vu all over <laughs> again. <laughs> I've sort of turned into Roy Firestone. And I know Adam will know who that is. Probably Young Kiv doesn't. but No idea. Guy He'll that, Google it later. It's an apt comparison. He's, he's, he's spot on with it. <laughs> A guy that known uh, used to obviously have sports shows, and he'd bring people on with the with the sole purpose of trying to make someone cry by the time they left. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Second and <laughs> two for Drini. Just needs to get some positive there plays together. And and Drini just needs to play his game. I feel like in the first first quarter uh, he was playing a little conservative. He just got to play his game. So first and ten. Because most people probably know Roy Firestone for being on Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire That's the whole at point. the end. So, so I'm not, you're not going to make me cry. Do you even know what that is? You see, have no you seen idea, the movie Jerry Maguire? Nope. No, of course he No, that came out before he was born. <laughs> Second and ten. Like, sir, even I knew not to ask about Jerry Maguire. And I'm the uncool guy that doesn't even know how to shake hands. <laughs> Over a minute to go in the half. There's Josh Gordon. Near midfield, they'll actually spot it right on the 50. Here comes a third and three with 102 to go. Why, why a timeout there? Drini took a timeout? Yep. Uh, he just wants to save the clock. Um, he wants to have as much time as he can to get a touchdown right here. Touchdown's huge. If he gets three, there's still no pressure on Skimbo. He's still up 14. So uh, Drini needs to get a touchdown here. He gets the ball back at half. Brady picks up the blitz. Buy oh some time and just has to throw it away. And here comes a big fourth and three. And now here comes the scary part where if you don't get it, now Michael Skimbo is going to have close to 50 seconds to maybe add to the 17-point lead. And this might be the game right here. If Drini can't get this and Skimbo gets it back, it might be the game. Yeah, if he can go up 24 to nothing at the half. Brady here on fourth down. Quick there throw there, Josh Gordon. Move the chains, and he will use his final timeout, stopping it with 52 ticks on the clock, ball at the 42. And even though Drini's so young, that was an experienced throw right there. He saw Skimbo's user a little bit close, and most players are going to be too scared to throw that, but Drini knew it was open, and he threw it. Got the first down. Yeah, this is just Drini's second season of Madden competitive oh. play, and we got a strip fumble, and it's recovered by Skimbo. Everything going Skimbo's way. And when it's your day, it's your day. <laughs> sometimes Madden loves you and sometimes Madden hates you, but Madden loves Skimbo right now. Yeah, he is getting blessed in so many different ways. That is a second turnover for Drini. And now with two timeouts remaining, ball at the 47, Skimbo's got a chance to add to the lead. Mahomes, buying time, going to use his legs, and he's got to be careful. Yeah. That was dangerous. You can't hold RB anymore. You used to be able to hold RB at the quarterback, and you get a less chance of fumbling. So that was a very dangerous play by Skimbo right there. So second and seven. Couldn't get down on the slide. Will use his timeout. One remaining now. Ball at the 36. That's a chance to go up. 20 to nothing, 24 to nothing on this drive. This is a huge defensive moment here for Drini. Holmes. Looking, throws it up top, and Conley can't pull it in. And right now, Adam, uh, Skimbo just inches away from maybe closing this thing on Drini in the first half. Yeah, but you still want to make sure that you're not trying to force the issue too much. You don't want to make a costly turnover right here and give Drini any, any sense of being back in this game. Holmes, that's a tight window, and Conley can't hang on, and now here's a fourth and seven. What are you doing here if you're Skimbo? You got to punt. You got to punt. You're up three possessions. He's got no timeouts. You got to pin him back and see if he can get some big catch or a big run to get in field goal range because it's going to be really tough for him with no timeouts. So Skimbo will angle this toward the right sideline, and it will go out of bounds, and they'll mark it at the 20. And that's where Drini will have a chance with 22 seconds to just try to get something. You need something positive to happen here, Adam. Yeah, you know what? You want to go in with a little momentum. As we've, we've talked about, he's going to get the ball at the start of the second half. So to get some points here would be imperative. Got 80 yards to go, though. 
And he will be wrapped up by Justin Houston. They're going to give him a half sack there. And that clock, this will probably be the final play of the half. And that's the difference between the Patriots and the Chiefs right there. Uh, that front seven, they, even if the, your blitz doesn't come in, you have Justin Houston, D4, Chris Jones, shut in. Well, I appreciate you being here for this first half with this Kiv uh, joining us. See my handshake's uh -oh. a little bit better. Oh, there's, uh -oh. a, there's a good that's handshake a good. between the two. Kiv, thanks. I think we've for... got it now. I think we're in pretty good shape. <laughs> I think we got it, yeah. You got to go in with the gentleman's handshake. Yeah. yeah. That makes, I think that'll be our thing now. Yeah. It makes gentleman's it a little handshake. bit easier. Uh, young Kiv, thanks for joining us here. Thank you. Uh, in the first half, what a treat for us. The, the, he's a Madden 18 champion. And uh, just, it's so good to hear inside these competitive mindset. I mean, these are guys that are playing eight to 10 hours a day, all the time that they not only spend in the lab, but the competitive play, the experience that they've had head to head against these competition. Uh, nobody, I said it before, nobody knows these guys better than a guy like Young Kiev. Yeah, he was out here putting on a show, just talking about them. And I was about to go get a sandwich. I was like, I don't, listen, <laughs> I, I enjoyed listening to him. He was breaking it down perfectly. I know that he's enjoying uh, playing and he's probably going to be playing for a long time, but at some point, you know, when he wants to put on the headset and do that, man, he's sharp. And that's what it's about being a champion. And, you know, I, I've talked about the maturity of a lot of players. I mean, this is... <laughs> Uh, it a, is, a guy, I mean, Young Kiv, who didn't want to, I, I mean, of course, he, you all ended up getting the handshake, but at some I mean, point, he didn't want to handshake his opponent at one point in sort of his rookie season here in the modern era. But this is a guy that has gone from oh, there's a, good one. a fierce competitor to a champion. And, and to be a champion doesn't only mean winning the belt. Right. Uh, it means on and off the sticks. Well, he's clearly still a, one of the top competitors in the game. But, yeah, you do see that as he continues to, you he's, know, he's get the, more experience. You get more experience in other areas, too. Not just, as you're saying, not just necessarily playing the game, but how to compose yourself in the victories and the defeats. Well, Trini came up short against Young Kiv a year ago for the 19-year-old from Washington, D.C. And right now in this opening drive, it's almost a must score. Oh, 100%. Trini. And, boy, just another errant throw. And it's not used to seeing that from Tom Brady. He's 8 of 13 with an INT for Draney Joka. Well, that's what you do. I mean, that's what it, that happens when you have a quarterback who doesn't have the mobility. You know that he's not going to be able to scramble for five yards and pick up a little chunk of change like Patrick Mahomes can do. So he's got to throw that one away. And there is James White. Looking at these guys' career earnings... If you combine them, it is $336,000 over the last couple of seasons of John Madden football between these two guys right here. A couple belt winners. We had some uh, scores coming in uh, from around the league. Got a, I believe it's 17 to 3. Excuse me, 17 to 10. I believe Blocky has a lead over Hollywood. Yes, one of them is leading. I can confirm. <laughs> one number's higher than the other. So 17-10 yes. ball game with Blocky up on Hollywood. 17-3 here after the field goal by Draney. Mahomes, oh, there's 30. that throw power and nice playmaker to the outside as Skimbo once again Pass midfield to the 43-yard line. Yeah, just as young Kiv was talking about when he was joined us, joining us just a moment ago, you send Tyree Kill in motion. This time he came across the field. They tried to look and see if, if Conley or it might have been Kelsey who was running down the seam. Both of those routes were covered. But then that gave some time for Tyree Kill to kind of work himself open, and that ended up being a huge gain. Of course, we enjoyed uh, young Kiv jumping by. We're going to have a couple more players join us through out the remainder of the broadcast, so make sure you stick around. Put who in the chat that you guys would love to see join us for a half of John Madden football as Tyreek Hill. I just look like the just same make play a there. soundboard of me saying Tyreek Hill takes it to the 16-yard line. I think Boogs is going to join us momentarily. Hopefully we'll hear from Problem before the day is over. And right now, Skimbo up by 14. Trying to regain that three-score lead that he had in half number one. Oh, 
Mahomes will flip the script. Tyreek Hill there on the inside. Always got to keep an eye on him. Hands it off to Damian Williams, who's gone from who to sort of a household name around the Madden community over the last couple days. Not only Madden community, but pretty much the NFL community as well. And I know because I dabble a lot in fantasy football, that was a guy that all of a sudden everybody wanted to know about. Is this the guy? Obviously, Spencer Ware is a familiar name. He's been there for a couple of seasons with the Chiefs. But it looks like at least in this realm, in this world, Damian Williams is the go-to guy. Let's see tomorrow if Andy Reid is going to follow suit. Because I think in a when the news came down last week, it was such short notice that Spencer Ware was the immediate guy that you would turn to. But young kid was breaking down his skill set pretty well and shows you that he could be the, probably the, the better option in the long run. Double tie in. They will go to Spencer Ware, and he will use that power to spin his way to the six-yard line. So his first touch of the game goes for a first down, first and goal from the six. But still, Spencer Ware, very talented. You know, going into last season, he was going to be the, the RB1 for the Chiefs, but he got injured and somebody took that took, took his place. 14-point ball game, goal line formation here for Skimbo. Now using that clock as well. And he's trying to shorten up this game. He knows he's up by two possessions. Close to putting it up by three. He's got Ware at fullback, and he'll go for the pitch. Can he get to the edge? Spins cool. back in, and that'll pick up two, and that's probably the final play of the third quarter. So Skimbo, he's on a journey for his third belt. Drini looking for the second, and you can just tell by the body language of Skimbo, he's not snapping that football right now. <laughs> Throw your fours up. we got Skimbo and Drini going on right now. Also Hollywood and Blocky. We know Blocky was up. But this is a huge four yards here on second down for Skimbo. If he can go up by 21, it's going to be a tough mountain for Drini to climb. Spencer Ware gets a little bit closer, too. And, you know, that, that solves two things. You know, you put yourself closer to the goal line, obviously. But you know what? Another 40 ticks is probably just as important right there. Skimbo looking to add to his career earnings. He's the all-time leading money winner in the MCS. Of course, if we go back 10 or 15 years, it'd be Eric Problem Wright, who's put more mad money in his pocket than most. And here is a 19-yard field goal to make it a Back to a 17-point ball game. That was a long drive, Adam, that took up a lot of time. Oh, yeah. Well, even these last two plays, man, it's 80 ticks. You got three points. That three-score deficit is a little daunting right here. Obviously, with 335 is a lot of time in Madden, but at some point, especially with the way that Skimbo is playing defense, you start to wonder, this might be it. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I feel like you almost need three scores and maybe two onside kicks. It depends on how quickly you can score here on this drive, depending on what you do. You can't burn any timeouts uh, the rest of the way until you're on that final drive. No, that's true, you know, and if this was a NCAA basketball game, the CBS cameraman would start looking for the, the sad flutist to try to, to focus in on her for when this game goes, <laughs> game's done. Brady throws it into coverage and Dorsett can't hang on. And so it'll be second and 10 from the 24. Some early turnovers for Drini. Skimbo had been able to capitalize on them. Couple plays by Tyreek Hill, a big grab by Kelsey. And that's really been the difference right now. Yeah, that's one of the things that we've noticed about Skimbo over the last three days is that he's just taken advantage of all the opportunities that have been given to him. You know, it's one of the one of the most solid players in the game, and you just can't give them that kind of that kind of room. So it's 20 to three here. We're gonna take a moment to check in on Hollywood and Blocky. And here is a key moment that was intercepted. Ooh. And that was Blocky, who's up by 10. And so it looks like Blocky is cruising over there against Hollywood. 
And we just got word at the desk that Bugs, the man from Atlanta, Georgia, will be joining us for the first half of our next ball game. So we look forward to getting that crazy life. Yeah, how about I already it? see them over here. I saw him have a donut this week. Stop it. I'm going to ask him if that was the reason for his demise <laughs> during the tournament. Oh, boy. I'm telling you, his body's like a microchip, man. You can't, a grain of salt can throw I the whole thing off. I didn't realize, I didn't, I've never seen him consume a carb, ever. We've, we've seen me consume a lot of carbs. <laughs> Bro, we were having breakfast together. We were both, <laughs> we were both putting it down as Gronk takes it to the six yard line. And in honor of Drini, you know, using the Patriots, I was eating the avocado toast, the uh, preferred <laughs> breakfast of Tom Brady. But all the avocado toast isn't going to help here. He doesn't get that touchdown. If that's all it took to have a supermodel wife, I could get on board. <laughs> I could get on board. If, if that was a part of it, Yeah. then I would be eating a lot of avocado toast. But uh, since it's not, it's going to be a full rack of You don't ribs. know, but we don't know. Well, it also had tomatoes, which is something that Tom Brady doesn't eat. Oh, gotcha. So that's, right. that's, where the, that's where the difference was. Here comes the two-minute warning. Third that's and what are goal. you doing? Don't do that to the goat. But yeah, that's basically the only difference between Tom Brady and me, is that I eat tomatoes. You hear that a lot from people. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's the only difference. The only. You're like, pretty much the like same Like literally, guy. The, literally the only difference. Third both, and goal We here. both have the same running style, though. It's that newborn fawn. <laughs> and Cordell. Oh, see Fash, please. That's elevation, Holmes. He'll pull it in. And with the extra point, it's going to make it a two-score game now. All right. And I, I, you have to go hey. for the onside kicker. Drini's got three timeouts as well. But you're down That's two scores. I think if it was a one-score game, maybe kick it away, try to play defense, and Conley is going to jump on it. And that's where Skimbo will have it at the 45-yard line. You could still technically give up oh, a field got, goal here. Yeah. And it'd be still a two-score game. But you, you, you really need that. a three and out right here if you're draining. And using those timeouts, yeah, absolutely. And they'll hand it off to Spencer Ware, and he'll gain a yard. And there's Drini's first of his three timeouts. Scott Cole and Adam Rank join us from the NFL Network. We got Boogs. He'll join us for semifinal number one. As we're getting closer and closer to crowning the Madden 19 Classic champ, and that's a huge gain on second yeah, down. Was, now it's third and one. You know, you got to know the run is coming right there, and you, you can't let them get that close to the first down marker right there because this uh, first down will just about put this away. Master Gamer is in. Little Man is in. Who's going to join is. him? A huge there play by Trini, and that keeps his hopes alive with 144 to go. And this is gonna be a long Ooh. field goal. This isn't on a 56 yards. If he misses, he gets yeah. the ball from where it's and Michael from that spot. Michael Skimbo from Claremore, Oklahoma. He's gonna think about this. He's almost kicking it from Oklahoma <laughs> on a fourth and four. A first down here and the game's over. And he's gonna punt it. Yeah, I, I and, and I didn't see, you know, you, you got these blips on the screen and you can see, I don't see the miles per hour, but the wind is coming back in his face. Mm -hmm. And that might have been the difference of him saying, uh, and I know Mike does the calculations of that's just too far. Yeah, definitely. And sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. Yeah, we, we can't see, can, I couldn't see the miles per hour of wind, but I definitely saw the direction. Definitely, yeah. So that's all right. Listen, the way he's been playing defense this, this weekend. It's like, it's not absurd just to go out there and, and hunker down and try to, you know, uh, nothing else. Even if, if Drini scores, make him eat up some of this clock. He's still gonna need a score and an onside kick. Brady. Gotta get rid of it and there's a huge sack and that clock is on the move with 75 seconds left in Drini's Madden Classic. before he heads back cross country to Washington, D.C. He's trying to extend his time here, and that is a duck that happens to be caught by Gronk, and you almost you want him, him to not knock the, catch yeah, that. Knock that one down. Third and 15, 50 seconds to go now. Maybe it's final two plays. Looking, 
will throw this to Gordon. He'll playmaker. That gets half of it. Fourth and seven now. But more importantly, that clock is ticking. Patterson was down near the end zone. Has to come back and get set. You can see on the user how far Skimbo's getting deep. I mean, he's 25 yards deep here in the middle of the field, and he does yeah. throw it to Fuller, and that will do it. Michael Skimbo, once again, is going to be moving on to the semifinals. The defending Madden 18 Classic champ has the opportunity to keep defending that belt as Drini just really struggled at him on offense. And uh, a couple.